I'm going to compare these two 12 gauge 3 inch slugs. One is the Winchester 1 ounce at 1760 feet per second and the other one is the Federal 1 and a quarter ounce at 1600 feet per second. And I'll be firing both of them out of its Winchester Model 1300 Defender with an 18 inch barrel. The targets I'll be shooting are these blocks of fence boards over here. <clears throat> Each one is exactly 25 fence boards thick. So I'll shoot the first one with the Winchester and then the second one with the Federal. And then I'll show you guys the difference between the two. And then after that I got one more test. I'm going to see which one can blow through some cinder block better. So I'm going to shoot through two layers of cinder block and see if it can destroy this bottle of water behind that. And Then I also got two more fence boards behind that to see if anything lethal can make it through two layers of cinder block which I'll do with each one. So first let's see what these slugs can do to the fence boards. And I'll be firing from exactly 10 yards away. It'll be the Winchester first. One ounce at 1760. Then the Federal one and a quarter ounce at 1600 feet per second. I'll be right back. I got it with the Winchester. Hopefully nothing came up the side. Now let's see what the Federal can do. Okay, the Federal hit kind of far to the side, I can see. I hope it didn't come out. But anyways, let me cut up this duct tape and then I'll show you guys the difference. Okay, so here was the Winchester and here was the Federal. The Winchester entered right there. And the Federal entered right there. I think the wadding, yeah, the wadding on the federal hit the side right there and put a pretty nice dent that definitely hurt <laughs> anyways let's see now the winchester split the first one in half and the second one so pretty nice energy transfer there it seems like third one also split and it blew all that out too somehow, I don't know. Because that's where it came through. Here's the third one. Seems like it just split them all in half. Should have called this one the power shock. Or, yeah, because this one don't seem split, but... Yeah. There's a... Number four, I think. And five. Number six, still split in half with lots of pieces of wood in there as secondary projectiles. <clears throat> Seems about the same size hole the whole time coming through. It's like half an inch pretty much, full inch diameter about. You can see some gray in there now mixed in. I don't know if that's lead <clears throat> or just paint from the wood, but... Anyways, yeah, I lost track of how many boards I'm at now, so let's see how many is left, because there was 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So this is number 7, then. Number 8. 
And there's the slug right there. Stuck on number nine, I think. Or ten, I don't feel like doing the math right now. <clears throat> we can calculate later. And there's the slug itself. One ounce Winchester slug. Still all intact, it seems like. <clears throat> And it, it was a hollow point at first, I'm pretty sure. That's pretty cool. It's got wood in the back of it. And in the front. Oh yeah, there it was. Stuck on 9 or 10. But it's still split. The next one in half. And that was it. So I got stuck on either 9 or 10. Split the other one in half. And there's the slug. Now let's see what the Federal did. <clears throat> there's the first one. First entry. Second. See, none of these are split in half like the Winchester. I think the higher velocity gave it faster energy transfer, but... So here's number three. It looks like it's starting to split now. Just down here though. I don't know for sure, but the hole also doesn't seem as big around. It seems like the same as the slug. Yeah, number four, split in half. Oh, now it started to do a lot more damage. Look at that. Holes opening up. One sec. Okay. There's number five. Also broken. Lots of pieces of wood down there. Number six. Number seven. And there's number eight with the slug stuck right there. And there's a fragment from it right here too. A little piece of lead in there. So I think the Winchester went through more because this one's stuck on number 8 right here. But it broke number 9 in half also. Just like the Winchester broke the one in half behind it. So I think the Winchester went through a tiny bit more. And there's the Federal Slug. It actually seems a little bit heavier too and bigger. Lots of wood stuck in it. Yeah, there's definitely a mass difference. One ounce and one and a quarter ounce right there. Winchester Federal. Anyways, let's see what they can do to the cinder blocks now. One sec. By the way, I just counted to make sure. And there was still 16 left behind the Federal and 14 behind the Winchester, so the Winchester made it through two more than the Federal.